week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, and so 140. And we look at the CalPERS from week one to week six, and you're down 3% body fat. Well, if you're down 3% body fat, 3% off of 140 is some sort of math, it's like two and a half pounds or something, one and a half pounds. Then you know, all right, I lost a pound and a half of fat. So it's super important to have assessments. So I keep harping on assessments. It sucks. I understand getting your fat squeezed is not the fun thing. It's just part of it. I know that someone had that experience recently and was not happy about it, right? It's kind of a slap in the face. But part of it, you have to know, you have to measure. Just like we measure strength movements. How do you know if you're getting stronger if you never measure anything? Well, I think I'm stronger. How do you know? Well, I don't know. That's good. I think I'm smaller. How do you know? Well, I don't know. Great. Well, how do we adjust? How do we move? How do we? How do we? How do we move from there? Right. But that's that's a measurement. Right. Eight to six is definitely a measurement. Six to four. <laughs> Yeah, you can't just rely on hand size because some people lose fat in different areas, right? Some people hold on to fat around their waistline because of stress or alcohol or genetics. Some people hold it on to their love handles. Some people hold it on their arms. Some people hold it on their, their lower body. Some people are just heavier set on the bottom and that's where they hold the weight. It's just how it is. You have to know everything. You have to watch everything. Okay? Um, and then I'll explain the workouts when we get closer. Um, and it'll be all written out, it'll be printed, so you'll see the A, B, and C splits, okay? Um, so that's a little technical. Do we have, a, we have a clear idea of what the wave method is? Crickets, please, 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 really ask a question if I ask you. So it's not be embarrassed, I don't know who's gonna make fun of you. So, if we do a performance fat loss program for six weeks or eight weeks, right? And let's say that we've, we've gotten to our sixth week and we're 500 calories down, 10%, and we're at our bare minimums and we're doing good, okay? What do we do the week after? Eat ice cream, right? <laughs> well, the idea is nothing, right? Even though they're a fat loss program, if you have 2,200 calories, and you have a great workout, and it's, and you feel like you've already had all of your nutrients in, you've already had your veggies and your proteins and your good grains, and you want to go to the scoop of ice cream, and you're still within your 2,200 calories, go get your scoop of ice cream. It's just, you know, rock, ice cream's delicious. <laughs> it's crazy, you know, right? We have to understand, it's a balance, right? Can I eat just ice cream when I'm I don't know if that'll work. <laughs> I don't know how well you'd feel. Yeah. I don't know if it would work. So, what we do, if this is an average of 1850, right, if you take these two numbers together, that's 1850. When she comes off of her first week, she does not go right back to 2200 because her body will respond to the 2200. So we do that again. So she has an average of like, 1850 daily. Okay, that first week after the program, after the carb cycling, she's back to 1800, 1850. We're gonna sit there for a week. How do we feel? Go right, cool. 1950. How do we feel? What cool. Is They're gonna the, here. You're gonna go back to whatever that number is. Well, say if it's 250 at 2200 or 2100, and you break back down to 1850, it's 300 calories. 300 calories. Carbage is going to be like 175, 195, something, 215, like something around there, right? So if she was between 150 and 250, she's just going to bring this back up, that 175 mark, and you'll stair step back up. You can stair step with your carbs or total calories. Don't think there's that much of a difference between doing 175 or 200 carbs as long as you're still at that 1800, 1900 mark. It's not going to be that big of a deal but she's not gonna rush back to 2200. We're gonna take our time slowly, okay? She finishes the six weeks, and she's at 20% body fat, and she's at 137, 136 maybe, right? Great, now 
we maintain 20% body fat, and we maintain 137, and we go 1850, 1950, 2030, 2150, 22. Now she's back to 22. That might have taken four, six, eight, 12 weeks. We just had to main, we had to watch it the entire time. Okay? So now it is, let's just say that it's today and then it's March. It's end of April, the end of the Phallus program. It takes her eight weeks to get back to 2200. It is now middle to end of June. So she is right now in February 2200, 23%. June, she's at 2200. 20%. See the, see, how, see the magic there? Where we're back to still eating 2200 calories. 2200 calories is awesome. Because that means we can eat all sorts of stuff. With obviously not eating crap. But that allows for us to go, you know what? I'm at a lower body fat percentage. And I'm not going to feel bad about having ice cream. Because I know I have the calories there. If I had maintained 1500 calories this entire time, and been 138 and been 22% body fat, you have one meal and you're like, oh man, this is not good. <laughs> you go to one birthday party and you're like, shit, I gotta go to the gym and spend nine hours doing cardio. <laughs> <laughs> that's a horrible life. That doesn't make any sense. Right? So, that's the wave method. You go up, maintenance, cut, up, maintenance, Cut, up, maintenance, right? And this is our progress. Or if it's weights, this one. Right. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Makes sense? But Sean, let me ask you a quick question because yes. I don't know this. Okay. But how do you determine how many calories you need? Okay. So there are a couple different ways we can do that. Um, there's each of the form has a calculator on their website. You can pull it up on your phone right now and it's really easy to use. You just put your height, weight, activity level, and then you put how much protein you want to eat a day, and then it, it spits it out for you. Another way to do it is just to, what? what was eat to perform. Eat to perform. Yeah, I put a link on the on okay. page, so I'll put it up there again. It's, it's just eat to perform calculator. Um, I think you can even use it as an app. Um, another way to do it is just to, uh, you can reverse, engineer calories. This is how you reverse engineer. You say that you are, how much you weigh? Uh, I weigh 140, yeah. the same as she, but not looking like her. Something's <laughs> <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Something is deadly wrong. <laughs> 140. You need at least one to 0.7 grams of protein per body weight, standard. That's no matter what, who we are. That's all, we should all be striving for that. Okay, so what's 140 times 0.7? Calculator. What is it? 140 times 0. 0.7. That's going to be 98. 98. Okay, so let's let's just do 100 grams of protein. Okay, each gram of protein is four calories. That's 400 grams. 400 calories. Excuse me. Okay, so there's 400 calories. Next thing we want to look for is we want to look for fat. We know that we need to be having at least anywhere from 60 to 80 grams, 100 grams. I eat about 130 grams of fat a day. Um, and one gram of fat is nine calories. So let's say we're gonna match that and we're gonna do 100 grams of fat, okay? Which is not that hard. It's delicious. 100 grams of fat. Okay, that's 900. <laughs> so now we're at 1300, okay? And we know no matter what, we need 100 grams of carbs, baseline. Okay, that's another 400, we're at 1,700. This would be the bare minimum, it would be 1,700. Imagine that, we're back to 1,700, okay? But this is not, this is not thriving, okay? This is just barely surviving, and that's not, not good. And you would just adjust, you would just adjust your carbs after that, okay? And each form calculator, it figures out all sorts of stuff, and it's, there's, I mean, I don't even know what the math is behind it. You just put in a bunch of stuff and it spits out a number to you. Okay? And that number can't, sometimes that number is not always right though. That's why we have to understand assessment and measuring. 
because it may say, it, say, it tells me I need 2,900 calories. And that is kind of hard for me because that, my energy isn't all that great, so I'm pretty hungry at 2,900. I'm, I'm a lot happier, about 35. Right? That's just, I know that. But I usually, bounce, I usually bounce around about 3,200 calories, about 100 to 200 grams, uh, 100 calories more than it says. But I just know that I've been paying attention to things for about ever. Right? Okay. So use the calculator, but that's another way of doing it. It'll spit out those numbers too. Um, let's let's backtrack to a little bit bigger picture when we talk about food and how we prioritize food in our plate and our diet. What's the number one thing we should be worried about in all of our food? First thing first. Veggies. Veggies, right. So when you're planning your meals, number one thing, are we getting veggies? Anything, doesn't matter. Daily greens, purples, pinks, greens, purple, yellow, orange, all the colors of the rainbow, okay? And at least two to four servings a day. At least two to four, at least, no matter, no matter what. There's no reason we should have less than two servings of vegetables a day. No reason, okay? And that comes back to health, micronutrients. And there's plenty of studies out there showing how important micronutrients are for fat loss and health and leanness. Okay, more than macros. Micros are all like the iron and vitamin C and all that stuff, right? The little things. Macros are your protein, fats, carbs. Micro, macro, small and big. 